Welcome back. We are investigating an animal murder, and so far we have found a piece of chrome indicating that maybe a vehicle was involved. Getaway vehicle, probably, or something. Let's see if this cop knows anything. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Anything else? Anything from the crowd? Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Um, you go back to acquiring the crowd. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. He might find something, he might not. It's one of the things that is determined randomly. It doesn't otherwise affect the game, other than that you get a few, uh, fewer clues, if he doesn't. Anything else out here? Well, there's a garbage can, and we know from other adventure games, garbage cans always contain important stuff. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. I guess this isn't like other adventure games, then. There's also a fire hydrant here. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Interesting. And we see that uh, this stuff has now been added to our Kia. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless so you can uh, listen to some of the interviews again and um, some information about the evidence. Sometimes you also get different information uh, about the evidence in the Kia than you did when you picked it up. So it always pays to look at everything in the Kia. Also, since the uh, cop mentioned two suspects, we now have two suspects associated with this crime. All right, um, I think that's all that's outside. One thing that's a bit annoying about this game is that you are expected to find some really tiny things sometimes. So sometimes you end up scouring this uh, screen, especially in dark spots, for just looking if your cursor turns green anywhere. But I think I've got everything outside anyway. Judging from That's the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Regular Sherlock Holmes, uh, Ray McCoy. Let's talk to Mr. Runciter. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look yeah. like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Um, now, because I said it's a user choice, we get uh, a choice about what we want to talk about. In this case, uh, it's uh, actually just going down the list. So let's talk about um, these two guys and see if he knows what they want. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You know what you're uh, implying there about your... Uh, Precious Lucy. If she was in concert with these two guys and they were replicants, and either she's a replicant or oh, my animals. a replicant synthesizer. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, 
Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Berseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? The mean to assault you. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. She was You treat... Baby. You say you treated her well? I don't think so. I think you wanted sexual favors from her, from based on the introduction, and if so, and if those two guys were in concert with her, you had this coming. Oh, really, I deserved it. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. And off he goes. They did make quite a mess, didn't they, these uh, replicants? It's the, as the cop said, blood over the wall and ceiling. Well, that's like the longest possible route you could have taken to go there. there you are. We got ourselves uh, some new clues, like the interview. I'm absolute there's not a lot. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the and North the Judging from the distance between the prints. Judging from the distance between the... Yeah, okay, there's no new information about that, but at least uh, I've marked them all off so we know <laughs> what the new things are. Uh, let's see, apparently Lucy worked somewhere over there, but uh, there might be... Oh, yeah, if you right-click you draw your gun, which you can do I anywhere. You can't one. really shoot anything except uh, for <laughs> bad guys. But unlike in Police Quest, drawing your gun... Uh, in the wrong place does not immediately get you thrown out of the I force. Which is kind of surprising considering that Jim Walls was one of the designers of this game. Um, let's see, there's something on the floor here. This is what I mean about finding tiny details. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. But you don't need to find everything. If you miss uh, certain things, well you get less clues, and you might not know what's going on anymore, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be able to proceed. Um, I don't think he has anything else to say. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Yeah. My precious one. She what's this? Security camera of some kind? You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Good. We've got uh, a video disc, and we'll be able to look at that at the station. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Yep, which means we need to check in uh, with the lab once once we get to the station. All right. Um, let's check in the back. Oh, <laughs> Runster was in the way. And there's some stuff down here, back here, like monkeys! Wow, isn't that cute? <laughs> it sure as hell is. Like I said, uh, a lot of animals are supposed to be extinct in this world. Actually, most of the place is, is kind of a crap sack world. I mean, really, you would not want to live in... Uh, in this uh, world, because it's always raining, and uh, at least in the book, uh, they actually say that you basically never see the sun because of a radioactive dust cloud uh, that surrounds the planet after the last world war. 
Actually, uh, I played this game kind of a weird... I did this in kind of a weird order originally, because I uh, picked up the game for very cheap, about uh, 10 guilders, so that's about 4 euros. Um, back uh, when it was released, because the store had the box in the wrong language, it was Swedish or something. So they had it uh, for really cheap. So I picked up the game without having seen the movie, played the game first, then watched the movie, then read the book. So, it's kind of a weird order to do things then. Of course, to prepare for this Let's Play, I reread the book and rewatched the movie as well. Final cut. Alright, let's see if we can find anything here. Um, this looks like some kind of toy animal. Hmm. A toy dog. Not going for realism there, unless uh, dogs have wheels in this world. I guess that belongs to Lucy. What do we have here? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Hmm. A place in Chinatown. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. And a what candy this? bar. Yuck. Okay. That's uh, an important clue. It tells us that. Lucy eats candy. Right. Uh, that's not really surprising for a 14-year-old girl. Now is it? And I think that's about it here. Yep. So, um, I, ruined. Totally I guess we'd ruined. better head out. See if we can find any of our... It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Well, that certainly uh, corresponds to the theory that Lucy was involved, if indeed Runcer was asking sexual favors from her. Let's see if he got anything from the crowd. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runcer hanging around with a big fat guy last week. A big fat guy. Hmm. I think I know who that is. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. A black sedan, which uh, matches the paint scratches, and probably also what the chrome uh, was from. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art all over the walls and ceiling. Well, I guess that's it for the crime scene, so we'll head over to uh, the police station in the next video.